We are on the go with Joe, and today he is trying to solve a classic whodunit in Beaverton. Yeah, this is neat. Joe is learning about a local theater group that puts audience members in the middle of an Agatha Christie murder mystery. He's live in Beaverton with more from the Experience Theater Project. Hi, Joe. Oh, it's scary, kids. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, we are back here with the folks from the Experience Theater Project. The Mousetrap is their latest experiment in what they call immersive theater. Uh, Lisa Stewart's with us right now. And so the idea is, is, you know, most plays, when you go to a play, sit there in the audience, the actors are up on stage. In this case, you're actually putting the audience on stage, so to speak, but the, the whole, to quote Shakespeare, the world is a stage, mm -hmm. I guess, right? Yes. Explain to us kind of how you put on a show like this? Well, the, uh, you come into the house through a hallway that kind of brings you from the outside world into our world, as mm -hmm. if you've traveled back in time to 1952, 1953-ish, to an old-fashioned manor house. This is the guest house. You take a seat on the set. Uh, so this is all authentic, old, antique furniture, and uh, you actually are... are City, seated with the actors who are performing just inches away from you. It, it's very cool because like every little detail as you mentioned is em emblematic of you know yes. from the old radio to the yes. old music to the actually uh, where did you find all the old newspapers? I mean there's a newspaper from the 1950s for crying out loud. Okay. eBay. <laughs> eBay. I love it. Uh, <laughs> and then even little details like this I just assumed this picture came with the frame but that no, is? Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie. Who, it's uh, on the stage of the uh, actual one that's still running on the West End. Uh -huh. The Mousetrap is still running. It opened in 1952 and is still running. It's the longest running play in history. Okay, and so it's never, you know, not always staged quite like this. Uh, this is a little bit different in that uh, you've got a number of different characters. Speaking of which, uh, let's let's meet some of them once again. Ladies, your name? I'm Molly Rolst. Molly, very nice to meet you. And your name, ma'am? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle. Okay, now, as I understand it, in this show, uh, there, there's a, a, a murder. Uh, shockingly in a murder mystery and there's a rumor that you ladies may have something to do with that what do you think of this I mean is it is it possible is it possible that you could be the murderer it sounds very far-fetched <laughs> does it now and what about you ma'am no, where were you on the night in question uh, when the murder took place it's all too distressing oh I'm, I'm sure it is well uh, the experience theater project the show is actually gonna open this weekend uh, so it's their grand opening but you know what our show is almost over, so I think I can actually give it away. Guys, you won't believe this, but it turns out in this show, the killer is, and this is, a, what the heck? Oh, my. Oh. <gasps> Joe. Oh, no. Joe. Oh, no. Say it isn't so. The most trap opens this Friday right here in Beaverton. Uh, for more information, you can just log on to kptv.com. Oh, boy. Uh, that'll wrap it up from now. A little help. A little help. Uh, Thank you. That Thank was a you. close one. Where are you going? Back to the studio. <laughs> this is pretty neat. I like it. I know. Yeah. I'm glad it came back to us, though. <laughs>